Hello everyone, Iram here for Alter New. Welcome to Creative Coloring with Iram. Today I'll be using the gorgeous Precious Peony stem set and I will be using the artist markers to color it. I'll start by stamping the image on Crest Solar White cardstock with permanent black ink. As you all know by now that permanent black ink is alcohol marker friendly ink and I'll be using artist markers by Altenew to color this image so it's the perfect ink to use. However, I would advise you to either give it a few minutes to set or dry or use your heat gun to be on the safe side. It's because if the ink is still a tad wet, it will smear. Especially if you use light colors because I guess the alcohol concentration is more in them. Um, I don't know, but it always, for, with me, it has always uh, been the light markers that smear that ink. Okay, so I'm using shades of purple set of artist markers to color the image. And I'm going to first lay down the darkest color in the family, which is Midnight Violet which I will blend out with Deep Iris. I will further blend this out with Lavender Fields. And lastly, I'll use Soft Lilac to smooth all the layers. I will add the darkest color at the base of the petal and also on the areas where I want to show shadows, where the petals are overlapping or the petal is tucked in. I will also use Tip to Tip method to add more detail and an additional shade of color. For this, I'll pick up color with the lightest marker that is shaded lilac from Midnight Violet's tip. So what will happen is that I'll end up with a soft um, variation of Midnight Violet on shaded lilac's tip, which will which when I'll apply on paper will start as light midnight violet and blend out to shaded lilac on its own. I leave you with some music. Be right back. Thank you. 
use the coordinating die to die cut the image and now I'll use the grit stencil and limestone dye ink to add a bit of grey to my background. I'm using Crest Solar White cardstock for the card front and I'll use a blending brush and through the stencil I'll apply the limestone dye ink. Okay, so a uh, happy accident. You'll notice that the ink coming off um, the brush is a bit pinkish instead of grey. Means that at some point I use this brush and because I am lazy and usually very flustered when I am making these videos, I must have forgotten to wash it. But thankfully, thankfully that the color matches the image, it actually works, which is very rare. Never actually happens and I'm quite happy that it works right now. Otherwise, I'll have to start all over again. Um, anyway, this is why I called it a happy accident. Um, otherwise, I really would have cried. I usually do when my Crest Solar White panel is wasted. Also, please don't be like me. Secure your stencil with a washi tape. You can see my stencil keeps moving and I have to keep placing it back lining uh, with the grid again and again so please use your washi tape and secure it i will apply the ink in a triangular fashion move uh, more on the left edge i'll apply it in a way that the pattern will reduce as we move towards the right once i'm happy with the inking i'll remove the stencil and add black paint splatters from the 36 pan watercolor set to finish, I'll just stamp a sentiment on Crest Solar White cardstock in Obsidian Pigment Ink and I'll use the Stamp Cleaner by Altenew to clear my stamp. This stuff is awesome. You can use it both on clear and rubber stamps. It's actually very amazing. I have used it for the first time. I have had it for a while now and this is the first time I'm using it and I love it. It is so good and doesn't smell. I'll cut the sentiment into a strip and adhere it on my card front and uh, <clears throat> my card is almost ready. I later on decided to die cut and add mid-century frame die behind my floral image because the card looked a um, little plain. I think you can uh, die cut this in black and it would look even better and add a more dramatic look to your card. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Thank you for watching. Bye.